Who is the leader of the Faronius Knights? If you answered Jean, you would be wrong. Welcome back to Genshin Impact with Windpack. During our travels, we've met or heard about characters, which one day could become playable, but so far nothing of sorts has been announced. Today we start with the character from Mondstadt. Similar videos might come up in the near future. Going back on my question from the beginning, who is the leader if it isn't Jean? Let's get the title right first. Jean is the acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Horonius, but also the Dandelion Knight. Harka, the actual Grandmaster, holds the title Knight of Boreas, and is known as the Titan of the Knights of Horonius. If you have gone through your character stories, you might have heard about him before. Many either share a story or have an opinion of him. It is not specifically written, but it appears that Varka teach the Razor how to fight with a greatsword, hinting that he himself might be a greatsword wielder. If that would be the case, he would be Monset's fifth greatsword user after Diluc, Eula, Noel and his apparent student Razor. As the leader of the knights, he obviously has to be strong. But how strong? Well, Eula spared with him once and he didn't even break a sweat, so that should give you some indication. We also know that Kiddo wishes to cross blades with him one day, and the nickname, the Titan of the Knights of Avonius, came from him, so you can expect a fair bit. All describe him as a laid-back, carefree person, so much so that he barely does his actual duties and instead goes on to expeditions all the time. Which is, by the way, why Jean has been in charge of the Knights for over two years by now. Poor Jean. Speaking of Jean, let me know if you want to hear more about her backstory. There are some things many didn't know about her. His attitude to things kind of reminds me of Venti, as he most of the time appears carefree, which is why I find it possible for him to be an Animovision holder. This would also be supported by the fact that his title, the Knight of Boreas, has a deeper connection to Andreas, the weekly boss, who himself is able to control Animo and Cryo. You might argue then that Cryo is also a possibility, but I find that more unlikely. His character traits simply don't fit the image I have of the element, and there are already 4 Cryo out of 18 Mondstadt characters. The only other element I could see would be Geo, as his character traits are not too far off and he's known as a fucking titan. But so far we don't have any information about it, so I wonder what your thoughts might be. We know all that, but why have we never seen him? As I said before, he really likes to go on expeditions. He left off for his latest one about 6 months prior to the Traveler's Awakening, so about 2 years by now. The smartest way to introduce him into the game would be either to welcome him home for a festival like Windbloom, or when we are to depart for a new region like Sumeru or Fontaine. We have seen the trick used before in Patch 1.6 with Kazuha and the introduction of Inazuma. In other words, I expect him either on the last banner before we depart for Sumeru, or the Windbloom Festival next year, as this year's festival is due next month and announcing a new character so suddenly would be… surprising at least. In a short recap, I think Varka is a great sword wielder with either an Animo or Geovision, as its traits represent both elements quite well and the earliest reasonable release being this summer. Tell me in the comments if you want to know more about existing characters or possible upcoming characters in the future, like if you liked it and join my Discord for some in-depth discussion. This has been Minpact, and see you in the next one.